Hi everyone, Dom Designs here, back with another Illustrator tutorial. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw Spider-Man in Adobe Illustrator. If you're new to the channel and interested in Adobe Illustrator process videos and tutorials, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you never miss an upload. So as you can see, I started out by sketching a rough draft of how I'd like my Spider-Man to look like. This drawing process took no more than 10 minutes. Once completed, I took a picture of it with my mobile device and imported it onto Illustrator. Let's open up a new document at 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution. Then by going onto our layers panel, let's double click on the icon and set our rough draft as a template. Next, I created a new layer and named it Outline. On this layer, we will be tracing out our rough draft, Outline Only. We will be using a dark brown as an outline with an 8 points thickness. Using the pen tool, we will start by tracing out Spider-Man's face using straight lines only. Since this is a front view, let's draw out the left side of the face only. Once completed, Let's round out the top part of the head using the selection tool. Then we will select the curvature tool to round off the jaw. Going back to the pen tool, let's draw the left eye using a slightly thinner stroke. To create the inside of the eye, we will go to our object panel at the top and select Offset Path. By adjusting the increments to about 16 pixels, you will see it duplicate a small eye within the constraints of the outside. Awesome! Now that we have the left side of the face completed, let's duplicate it over to the right. Let's reach for the Reflect tool from our panel. Going to the center of our face, we option click and click on Copy. To finish the head off, we will merge our two shapes into one. And there you have it, the head is finally completed. Now let's move on to the body. Let's frame our character within a diamond using the rectangle tool. Once that is done, using the same techniques shown with the head, we will create the left side of the body. As you can see, I purposefully overlapped my lines. To clean this up, we will select the Shape Builder tool. Let's select all, holding Option on your keyboard, we will click on the overlapping shapes we want to delete, like so. Now let's continue outlining the body. Now that we have the left side completed, let's reflect it just like we did with the face. For the next step, let's create the Spider-Man logo. We won't go too crazy with this part. Let's bring in an image that we found on Google of the logo. Going to our Live Trace tool, we click on Image Trace. This looks pretty good, so we then click on Expand. This will turn our logo into a vector graphic. Make sure to ungroup it in order to separate it from its white background. Let's center the logo to the Spider-Man's chest and create a new layer just for it. We will get to that later. Now is the time for the coloring. What we will do is create a new layer and name it Color. This way we add our colors, we know it will be placed behind our stroke outline. Going back to our pen tool with a bright red color, let's trace out the Spider-Man like so. Then 
this is looking really good. For the head, in order to avoid tracing, since it's already a closed shape, we will select the outline and go to the top edit menu and do a copy and then paste in place. This will duplicate the outline on itself. Then going to our layer panel, we can drag the little red square below to the color layer. Now we can remove its stroke and give it a red fill. Let's do the exact same process for the eyes. Great, now's the time to add Spider-Man's suit details. As always, I'll create a new layer and name it Suit Detail and place it in between the outline and the color layers. Let's turn off the color layer so that we can see our lines clearly. Then using the pen tool, we will trace the lines we have drawn. I'll be using a dark red tone with a slightly thinner stroke. Loving this, let's now place our Spidey logo by creating a clipping mask with the background like so. For the final step, we will add shadows and highlights to our character. So let's create a new layer and name it Shadows and Highlights and place it underneath the suit layer. Using a darker shade of red, let's trace out our shadows. Here you will notice the shadow went across the eye. That's okay, we will fix it by sending the shadow onto the color layer. Let's move on to the rest of the shadowing. For the highlights of the head, our light source will be coming in from the left side. So let's select the head on the color layer and do a copy and paste in place. This will duplicate the head on itself. Then holding down option with the selection tool, let's click and drag a third copy towards the right. Lastly, we will select the shape builder, holding down option, let's click on the shapes we want to delete. Now that we have the shape of the highlight, Let's fill it in white and bring down the opacity. We're almost done here, so let's speed up the rest of the highlight process.
Wow, I'm loving the way this is looking. So finally, let's give the background a nice color and give Spider-Man a subtle shadow right behind him. And there you have it. This is how to draw Spider-Man in Adobe Illustrator from sketch to vector. I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know what you think in the comments below. Cheers everyone!